An Australian zoo is investigating the sudden deaths of seven female quaggas and two yellow-footed rock wallabies. Why the marsupials died remains a mystery but plant toxicity is believed to be the most likely cause, an Adelaide Zoo spokeswoman said. The vet team is confident it is an isolated incident but further investigation is underway, she said. Often dubbed the world's happiest animal, quaggas are darlings of tourist photos on social media. But less than 15,000 remain in the wild, most on Western Australia's Rottnest Island. Only about 2,000 yellow-footed rock wallabies are left in the wild, mostly in South Australia, estimates suggest. Three people have lost their lives in a fiery explosion that occurred in an apartment building in Istanbul's Kadik district, while the Provincial Counterterrorism Bureau has launched an investigation into the incident on suspicion of possible terrorist activity. The explosion occurred on the second floor of a three-story building in the Fikertep neighborhood on October 9 at 7 p.m. The fire also spread to two adjoining buildings due to successive explosions. A team of firefighters dispatched upon the notifications brought the fire under control after one hour of strenuous efforts. A 10-year-old girl, her 68-year-old grandfather and another person lost their lives, while the child's father got injured due to smoke inhalation. The child, grandfather and the injured father were Uzbekistanis, while the identity of the other person who died could not be determined, Yerlikaya stated. The coronation of British King Charles III will take place on May 6 next year, Buckingham Palace announced on Tuesday. The coronation ceremony will be held at Westminster Abbey in London and conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby. King Charles will be crowned alongside his wife the Queen Consort, Camilla. The coronation will reflect the monarch's role in the current era and look toward the future, while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry, the palace said.